The whole idea of protecting biodiversity shouldn't rely on what's useful for us. We should also protect biodiversity because it's beautiful. It's amazing to have this wide variety of organisms living on Earth and evolving through millions of years. So I'm Ignasi Bartomeus. I'm a researcher in uh, Estación Biológica de Doñana and I'm mainly interested in understanding how different drivers of global change are affecting pollinators. Specifically, I'm very interested in how the relationship between pollinators and the plants they visit is really important just to get the knowledge on how things in nature work. Which actions do we need to do to conserve better biodiversity and to understand the, the challenges we are facing with the current environmental situation. The climate breakdown we're experiencing will uh, drastically affect, uh, and it's already affecting, pollinator generations. Biodiversity mainly represents the, the wide variety of organisms and species that we have on Earth, uh, from microbes to big mammals. Recently, we've been using biodiversity in a very utilitarian way, so how we can profit from biodiversity. And indeed, biodiversity is giving us a lot of things like free services of pollination or pest control or even carbon sequestration. We have a language barrier. Uh, we scientists tend to talk on some terms that means different things for, for um, the society, and we should make an effort to translate that. Rather than, than looking for specific words, we should tailor our message to the specific uh, audiences and, and specific context. And I think this translation of the ideas into actions and concepts is very important. I'm not gonna give more uh, terrible predictions because we are, all know we are actually losing already quite a lot of species. What I can tell is that uh, a lot of species are still not extinct. This means that we can revert this pattern if we change uh, a few things. We have now the opportunity to rescue a lot of species that are still present in small populations and if we take care of the landscape, take care of our climate, they will just thrive. There is now uh, plenty of small projects and I think that's the way to go, having small communities doing their own implementation of, of the actions. Um, what example related to science that I like is the Butterfly Biodiversity Monitoring Scheme, uh, which is run in Catalonia for more than 10 years now, where people, volunteers, go and, and they record which butterflies they see in a particular transect. So by having this data over time, we can track which species are doing okay, which species are doing uh, wrong, and we have these early warning signals on how we can act on this, and also engage the, the society into science, and it's a bi-directional, um, really interesting initiative. We should pay attention to the small creatures that live with us, like for example, insects or pollinators, they don't require large areas of nature-preserved habitats. We can preserve small uh, patches of habitat. Sometimes 100 meters of uh, native flowers can make a difference for the local species. So we can try to voucher for these local communities in, in, in our discreet, district, but our gardens and balconies are also great places to plant um, native species and make them attractive to, to a great amount of biodiversity how cool it is to have all this biodiversity alive.